What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Impact. We are live with round number four of our modern 1K RCQ. We got Connor and Ben, both on Boy Boros, whatever that is. Boros Energy. <laughs> What's up? Uh, Jake back in the booth. I scrubbed out, so I decided to come in and hang out and talk some magic. Um, so Ben and Connor, this is the Boros Energy mirror match. There's a lot of Boros Energy in the room today. Yeah, um, <laughs> talking with Ben. So Ben doesn't have a Gigantha because he's playing this new Jerry Thompson Boros Energy list that's playing Skyclave Apparition to help against the ring. Mm. Okay, there you go. You answered my question. Can you hear them now? Yeah, I can. Okay, hear cool. Yeah. So we have the player mics on, so... We can hear what's going on. And you can hear a little bit, probably. Not too much to over overshadow our sultry voices, of course. <laughs> <laughs> but we got the, uh, you know, pretty similar starts here. You know, guy of souls, guy of souls. So no one's swinging into each other quite yet. Uh, Connor going to pass with a cut. You know, Connor being on the play definitely does help a lot. But Ocelot Pride, wow. the guy of souls, gain a life, gain an energy. And just so everybody knows, we are streaming to you live from Impact Gaming Center in the fabulous Fairview Heights, Illinois. And uh, you can hit that subscribe button, like, comment, of course. Let us know what decks you want to see in future broadcasts. And, of course, hit the notification bell icon as I need to zoom out just a tad, I think, to see that life bad. There we go. Zooms out. Guy to Souls gets taken out by the Static Prism. Gains some more energy. Gains some life. Make a kitty cat. Oh, yeah. And smack in for one. Play draw super matters, I think, in this oh, matchup. I think it is the most uh, important, one of the most important aspects in this matchup of, you know, when you're doing aggro, aggro matchups, like, the play draw difference is huge. Oh, yeah. And we see it right here where Connor's able to remove Ben's possible blocker um, so yeah. they can get in the way, but we're going to play out at Ajani. Yeah, we can see in Connor's hand, he's got a Bone Crusher Giant, so I don't think that Ajani is long for this world. That's one of the things on the list that we got to see that I was interested in. Uh, Connor's playing some number, uh, two Bone Crusher Giants, so a little extra removal, a little extra fight against the ring because these Boros Energy decks have just started playing with the ring. You know, to help fight against the longer game decks. And honestly, why not play the ring? I mean, it's free. Is it the best card in the format? It's, I mean, I don't think there's a doubt in my mind that it's completely the best card in the format. So a couple weeks ago, you were in the booth right after the Nadu ban. We both agreed that maybe Jeskai Control is the best deck in the format. Do you think still think that? Uh, I still think so. I think that control decks do better over time and when they're allowed to learn and adapt to the meta even more um, you gotta start making those lists more optimized and I, I think that just guy still has a lot of room to grow I think that the one ring definitely makes it a little harder but we're gonna see that uh, that uh, cat man by Johnny you know just get in there chump get killed uh, Guy to Soul is being, you know, yeah, rough. sold up, being an angel. But Ben's going to untap and draw. It looks like he drew another, or he know he drew a windswept teeth. That's what it is. Yep. Full art, windswept teeth. Cracks it. Picks this up. Going to play out another planes. With the cut, let's see if we're going to go two for... And Amter. Gonna go cascading, if you will. Land. Go hitting. Hey, that's a good one. That's a good one to hit. So guides a 3-4. Gonna probably just put yeah. all the energy into killing it. That's definitely what Ben wants to be seeing is these other two oh, wow. friends. And he's gonna play a, a Ocelot Pride. Um, not going to make a cat. He didn't gain any life this turn, but, you know, that's still pretty, you know, getting more bodies on the board, helping block. I think Ben's got maybe a card or two more in hand than Connor does, but Connor has a access to Gigantha, so, you know, he does have theoretically an extra card. Expensive, you know, I don't, I don't know if we're going to get there this game to seeing him by cast, but we'll see. 
Connor drew a galvanic discharge for turn, I think. Yeah, this is just a slug fest. This is just creatures crashing. Yeah. Creatures, you know? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I think we paid for the... Oh, there we go. There's another Johnny. I think we ran out of energy for the... Oh, I guess we're not going to run energy. No, wait. We got to Guy Souls. So next turn, that Ben's Guy to Souls should come off the enchantment. We're going to crash in for two. Uh, both Amped Raptor and also apply Pride having first strike. So if Ben so deems it, everyone's going to trade, but that's going to flip the Ajani. So I think Ben's thinking it, thinking it through here, not yeah. actually declaring blocks just quite um, yet. Um, no matter what way he blocks it, Ajani flips. First strike, my guys, my guys die. One of your guys lives. We'll trigger the Ajani. Ajani's going to flip. No red permanent under Connor's control, so we're not going to get the little uh, bonus kicker from the Ajani. Plays an Arid Mesa. Going to make this kitty cat. And here is the Ajani for you on screen for those inquiring. It's, uh, three loyalty and then the plus twos put a one one counter on each cat you control. But for zero mana, you can create a two one cat. And whenever you do, if you control another red permanent, which this deck does do occasionally, uh, you get to deal damage equal to the number of creatures you control to any target. That's insane. That that got me one of my games. Uh, he had a bunch of cats and flipped in a Johnny. It's wild that the um, all the supporting cards in this set for white all happen to be cats. Yeah, no joke. Like, that was definitely a plan to make a Johnny good. Other than Guide of Souls, but yeah. I mean, Guide of Souls makes your Ocelot pride work. But we're going to play it a monkey. Make a kitty cat. Connor with a f cracking a fetch. Ben, ben is creeping towards the... Uh, He's at three, four, five, six, seven, eight, so two more. Connor just going to grab a basic mountain. I'm surprised he didn't grab a surveillance, but maybe he's going to... Maybe he's got a... He's going to discharge on the end step. We're going to get rid of that Ajani. Yeah. No flip to Johnny for you. Nope. Untap. Draw. We did so not he, see... Is he paying for the... He's got one energy, so I guess we're going to... I'm not... I don't know where that energy came from, but... Oh, the Galvanic, oh, the Galvanic Discharge. discharge yeah. um, those aren't counters on the Gigantha. That's his. Yeah. <laughs> this is where I'm going to put my energy counters. Right. So, teach their own. So, Ben's deck, the Jerry T list, that I listen to some... Uh, Podcaster talk about he is should be playing. Let's see if I can find it. Guess he's not. So uh, the Jerry T list was playing Boros Garrison um, to help with you know having two lands, but not go having a land that produces for two mana, but not going up on lands. So you have like the same amount of mana, but one of your lands just makes an extra mana. Um, is he not playing it? Or? I don't see it. He is playing a Monumental Henge, which I find interesting because you know, about the only few things you're going to hit in that deck are yep. Flage, Ragavan, and Ajani. I guess you have the Wandering. So, seems pretty good. I mean, these Boros games go long. Just going to keep him back. Pass the turn. Ben's going to draw. Ooh, we're going to slam that Flage. Yeah, Take out Johnny's your Johnny. gone. <laughs> Yeah, can't can't let a Johnny stick around for too too long in this matchup, no. or else it will just win the game. Shoot the turn. Connor drew a blood moon, but he's deciding on the static prism right now. I don't think he could pay for anything because it triggers at the beginning of the main phase, so you can't do anything really. In I mean, if you get like instant speed, but there's no he didn't have anyway. He drew a blood moon for turn, I think. Yeah, and. 
right now that doesn't do a whole lot. So no, it does not. God of Souls continues to Actually, show how it, powerful it, it is, but it hurts Connor more if you were to yes. play that. Swing all out. Ben's gonna double block the crusher. I think Ben's like one of Ben's ideas right now is just get the things off your board and fill my graveyard because I have a flage and you don't. And there's and if Connor's just drawing lands to catch this Gigantha, I don't think Ben's that worried about it. But I mean, if you asked me on turn three, I thought Connor would have this locked up. But I mean, that's just how these Boros energy matches kind of go, you know. Yeah, just buys back or buys Jengatha from the companion zone. Yeah. And Flage uh, exert that arena of glory. So Flage is coming back for the haste, you know, on casual so good. twelve damage swing here. So good. Yeah. Jeez, so good. I think Ben had a fetch shock, so he's at 19. Yeah, I gotcha. Connor's down to 15 after the big old smack from the flage. Connor says, oh, flage. Ooh, wow, oh, yeah, flage. he's going to scoop it up. But, wow, what a, what a swing back from Ben here. I mean... They both talk about. I think they both had a blood moon in hand. Where like, what's blood moon gonna do when, like, you're both just worried about creature combat? You're not worried about your opponent lands all yeah, that much. I imagine probably blood moon will come out in this matchup. All right, we have some sideboards here. Hey, look at that. Yeah, we do. Um, you got Ben's list. I got Connor's. Gonna read off which thing. So Connor's gonna obviously not. On the sideboard of the Gigantha, he's going to leave the Companion Zone. He's got four Charma, two High Noon, two Chain of the Rocks, one Surgical, another Blood Moon, one Thraven Charms, one Orm's Chant, and two Sun Cleanser. Sun Cleanser's coming in. I imagine both yeah. players are bringing Sun Cleanser in. Um, Chain of the Rocks seems pretty cool. I mean, it's another removal spell. Um, exiles, so it doesn't kill. So you have to, like, get rid of a cat. It's not going to flip the Ajani. Um, high Noon might be okay. I don't think this is really a High Noon matchup. Uh, Thraven Charm is pretty cool for killing the opponent's flages. Little, it exiles target player. Look up uh, Thraven Charm. That's one card I'm not super sure on, but I think it exiles target player's graveyard, maybe. I didn't fetch a plane because I was just like gummed up on stuff. And then I surveilled one. Exile any number of target player's graveyards. Oh, yeah. So you, you have to target the player, but you can exile every. I mean, if you wanted to exile your graveyard, go so, for it. Interesting thing about Ben's list, no Sun Cleansers at all. No Sun Cleansers. Is he yeah, playing? we got two Magebane Lizards, two Skyclave Apparitions, two Reprieves, one Thraben Charm, one Wear Tear, uh, two Fear Fire Foes. It's another Lord of the Rings two, card. Two One Rings, uh, two Blood Moons, and one Deafening Silence. So uh, I think Skyclave Apparition is pretty good here. Um, Thraben Charm could be Dece. I have no idea what Fear Fire Foes does. Like, literally. I, it's a Lord of the... There's, like, these weird Lord of the Rings cards that have, like, slowly started creeping into, like, play. Like, there's a new... Uh, there's a blue four drop that Living End is playing now because it bounces anything back. It bounces a non-land permanent back to the zoner's hand, and then they can cast it. There it is. Damage can't be prevented this turn. Okay, so it's anti one ring eight. Uh, Fear Fire Foes deals X damage to target creature and one damage to each other creature with the same. Oh, this seems insane in this matchup. So oh, it kills all. We can their we can guns. like we're gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill your Ajani, and then I'm gonna kill all your Ocelot Pride tokens. Yeah, that seems like a fantastic. I didn't know this card existed. Look at Ben bringing in the spice. Yeah, that's awesome. So that's probably for sure two of them too. So hey, shout out Ben. So, uh, definitely, definitely yeah, Skyclave Apparition, Fear, Fire, Foes. What about the One Ring? You just bring it in? Of course. I've, the the one thing that Boros... Play main. I, I mean, you, yeah. you stop the Boros Energy decks by playing the One Ring for a turn. 
And you have to hope they don't have like the Bone Crusher Fear Fire foes, I guess, or uh, Sunspine Links. I mean, there's a bunch of them. There's the there's a few. I mean, I mean, that's just what you know. This deck's trying to do to fight the One Ring is ignore the One Ring. I'm just gonna punch you in the face the turn you played it. It's not quite as spicy as Sunspine Links. Oh no, I played that today. It was uh, actually won me a game, so can't be too upset. Go. But looks like Connor's got to keep, and Ben's still shuffling. I don't know if we saw a Mulligan, but. All right, yeah, it's, eh, maybe. We'll see. Connor with the cuts, and Ben going to see what he's got. Um, I will keep it. Deciding what to I think he did mulligan, so we're going to put, I think he put a flage to the bottom. Yeah, he mulliganed. All right, we're off to the races here. Connor on the play, obviously. I think that's a one. It's either, yep, dumping the one ring. Probably either has one or I don't need this card right now. I'll have my other three in the deck. I think he does have a one ring in hand. <laughs> ben with the same thing, just fancier and more foily. Aether Hub, we're going to see an Amter here, the old scary three mana. Yep. Guide of Souls. That's one of the scarier starts out of this deck where Amter gets to, you play Nether Hub, play the Amter, and then you can hit whatever three drop you hit. Yeah. So Ben's going to do it, but just, you know, not as good. Yeah. We'll see if it matters. Nope, oh, hits it oh, a Johnny. That's, that's really good. <laughs> Amter Raptor, what a, what a Magic the Gathering card. <laughs> I'm going to play this 2-1, and then I'm going to get a... One, two, that makes it two, one. All Modern Horizons three cards on the table right now, other than the Lance. Oh, I don't. <laughs> the The only card that, like, I mean, that's just, like, what kind of modern is right now. It's just you're playing the, the good Lance from everything else and just the busted stuff from MH3. Yep. Welcome to modern. MH3 construct block constructed. It used to be a Nadu, and now there's not. Nadu no more. Connor with the another Aether Hub. Go up three energy. Move to combat. Swings in with the dudes. The dudes. Has not played anything, so we could have a response, you know, after combat maybe. We're going to go blockers. I'm just trying to... Been saying we're going to go blockers. Just got to decide what we're doing here, so... Probably wants to flip this Ajani. I imagine that's his goal, but he's got to think, you know, if if my Ajani flips, does Connor have a kill spell to kill the flip of Johnny? Because it's not a he's not that big of a threat on the other side. Connor's got a million Aether Hubs. He's got another one in hand too. But we're just gonna bolt the Ajani, so I I mean, you know, it is what it is. It was gonna die no matter what. Connors didn't make him flip it in the sleeve. <laughs> Ben's gonna crack. See what we got. Who's that? Flash to the bottom. Ben's talking about when you uh, search your deck and you see three of the same card clumped together, and you're like, "I'm gonna shuffle, but I'm still gonna fan these out a little bit more." Guide of Souls, Amter, gain an energy, and then I'm going to go Cascade him. Well, can't cast that oh, one. Could you, oh, you had the, if that land was an Aether Hub return, wowie zowie, Ben would be living the happy. dream. <laughs> Just getting with the Ajani Cat. Down to 18. Ben's at 17 because he gained a life from the Guide yep. of Souls. Three in the air. Guide of Souls doing Guide of Souls. And we got one, two, three, four. Here's the one ring. You know, the only one. The Lord of the Rings card where there was one ring, but you can play four in the deck. Biggest thematic whiff of all time. So if you, let's say they go, we're going to only put the one ring to one. What deck 
would not want to just play one of the one ring, you know, just just in case he's. I think that card just. Storm just... probably? Like, oh, Storm sure. doesn't play it, so. Oh, Storm will find a way. That's colorless. Flage. Kill your guy. Gain three life. Uh, doesn't kill it. It's a 3 4. Let's see if Ben has like another removal spell. I think Ben might have forgot about the One Ring. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All righty. Well, Connor took one from the ring. Yep. I'm going to draw two. And now the game becomes about the ring, which is like one of the worst aspects, I think, about the One Ring, where the minute you play it, the game becomes this is the most important thing in play right now. Yep. Yeah, it warps the entire, everybody's gameplay patterns around it. I mean, think about it. He spent four mana to have protection and draw three cards. What do you think that card would cost if you just was on a spell? Like five? Four mana. Draw three cards, gain protection, lose a life. Yeah, I mean... Seven? I don't know. A lot. Like a lot. But they put on a four mana artifact. <laughs> Connor here with uh, Guide Souls Tron. Yeah, right? Jeez. So we're going to swing Guide Souls. We're going to put more counters on this Guide of Soul. <laughs> this dude has double flying. Was a high flying? The old magic term for it. And uh, it has a five six guide. Yeah. By Jagonf. Seems pretty easy after you've drawn every Aether Hub in existence. Then grabbing a Surveillance. Elegant Parlor. With the Surveil. What do we got? So Ben, has Ben playing any Static Prism? Was other than, I mean, he's got Skyclave. Does he have? He's got one Static Prism, two Chain of the Rocks in the main. So, if depending on what we draw here, there's Arena of Glory. Here's a Guy of Souls. I'm gonna bring back my Flage. I assume. Here's Flage with haste. I'm gonna probably double bolt a Guy of Souls, the big one. got two Guide of Souls triggers, so he should be at... Hit the big guy. These Boros decks are dumb. Very good. Jumping Flage. And Flage can... Uh, Seems you know, good. And Flage is just going to casually become an angel. Elder Titan Angel. 6-6 six, six flying... Attack on Lightning Helix. What a what a Magic the Gathering card. It's Hunter down to seven. It's an eight eight, right? Yeah, he's a he's a big guy. Activates one gonna, ring. Yep. Draw three more cards. It looks like just lands. Wow. I'm curious, but you'll you'll tell me later. Connor drew. I think double fetch double. Or drew, Arid Mesa. Arid Mesa. Marsh Flats. Yikes. Oh no. You need to find static prism. You need to find anything that was. I think even. I mean, Trumpers look. Trumpers look dumb in front of Flage because he's just gonna kill him. Mm. Maybe three mana was too much for Lightning Helix. Uh, Make an energy. But where does Gigantha go? He can't put the energy on the Gigantha. It's in his hand. <laughs> you know, Gigantha, the uh, energy, energy, energy token. Yeah. Also, probably I'm going to gain two, make two more energy. Going up to nine. Going to play out the Gigantha. There he is. Connor gets the City's Blessing because he's got more than enough lands to trigger it. 
He has the city's blessing token, but he doesn't have an energy reserve token. Come on, come Connor. on, Connor. You've Get been together, man. Way too long to do that. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Gain more life. Make two kitty cats. Go to Connor's went from seven to fifteen in one turn. Dinosaurs, place. These cards are just too good. Draw. There's that monumental hinge we talked about, game one. What does that do again? So you can pay four and tap it and look the top four or five cards of your library and put a historic permanent in your hand. Wow. That's pretty cool. So you can grab Flash. And legendary, historic is legendary artifact or saga. Yeah. Then just casually up to 20, and now I got an 8 8 Flash cracking in. Connor going to take it down to seven again. All the, all the work that Guided Souls did, you know. Does Guided Souls have to put the counters on an attacking creature or can just put on any creature? It has to be an attacking creature. Gotcha. But Guided Souls doesn't have to attack. Connor draws in a Johnny. Just going to casually draw four with this ring. Do I find my next string to protect myself for a turn? I don't see it. I see a flage, another Ajani. So for this four-man investment, we've drawn ten cards. You know, uh, what was that one card? Uh, the card from Kalidus. You gain two energy, you scry two, draw two. You played that card. Probably. Oh, yeah, it's like the... That card was four-man as well. Think about that. Oh, yeah, the uh, the blue instant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That card is four mana. That card only draws two cards. That didn't gain uh, two life, though, did it? gained two energy. Two energy, yeah. Uh, see the unwritten. It's four mana, pretty much. All these cards are four mana. This ring, for four mana, draw ten cards, lose ten life, but who cares? I have Guide Souls. <laughs> we had to upgrade to a uh, spin down life total because we had too many, uh, too many energy. <laughs> Get to the red zone. We're going to crack in. Probably going to swing him with Jeggy and a Guide Souls and a cat and a little cat. Kitty parade. Talk with all my friends. And guess what? Everyone is an angel. <laughs> Jump in Jengatha. Ben's Guide Souls, I believe, is also an angel, so he can... I was going to activate uh, Monumental Hinge. It's five. Ugh. And a whiff. Wow. I mean, it doesn't play that many, so it is possible, but I mean, big rough. I'm going to stop thinking of these Boros matchups, so who has the advantage, because these games just swing, swing left so right, yeah. hard. It's impossible to try and judge it. Like, think about the advantage bar. Just go back and forth. I mean, Connor's at 8, and then, or at 7. Then he's going to go up to 15, and then he's going to make his dudes big. He's going to play Gigantha. He's going to go back from – then Ben's going to smack him and go gonna draw to 40 seven. cards off his one ring. Oh, my gosh. Maybe white weenie cards shouldn't be good. <laughs> <laughs> as much as I love white weenie cards, maybe – Maybe they shouldn't be good. That's correct. Yeah. I know when you went Ocelot, Gigantia, that's... How many lands are in Connor's hand? Jeez. I mean, at some point, this one ring is just going to start drawing gas, right? I mean, Connor's going to take four on his imagine, up. but... There's a Johnny. Oh, so they old... Play a Johnny, so my Johnny flips maneuver. I, I, and then, oh, he can flip it and then, like, yes. kill him. Well, not kill him, but... Well, maybe kill him, actually. It depends if Connor has more Duder Makers in his hand. Oh, okay. oh he's got we're the bolt. Yeah, that's then right. what, we're, we're, we're done. What here. was that game? That was... That was crazy. Is what that, was. that was Boris Energy. All right. Back to the booth. What's up, everybody? I don't know what to think about that game. That was wild. Um, that was a lot of fun. We're going to game three now, right? Yeah, game three. Game number three. What a weird. 
What a weird game, honestly. Like, I mean, that was so swingy. You I mean when Ben made his flash big, I was like, maybe Ben's got it, but then the wing, the ring just, you know, drew Connor out of the game. So, yeah. I mean, well, like these Boros energy decks do everything. It feels like. I mean, it's like the best deck in the format. Let's uh, let's do a Goldfishers. What do you think the meta percentage of this is? Seventeen percent. I like that. No, I I go. I'm gonna say thirteen. One decks, popular decks, meta game. Thanks, add, modern, fourteen. Wow. So right in the middle. Not as, not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Mardu is also basically ten percent as well. So. The same deck, basically, right? Yeah, I mean, you yeah, you have yeah. the same deck. Yeah, when you said you wouldn't pretty much the same, and then it goes down. It's like Tron and Amulet Titan and Breach. And this is weird. Mammon's in an odd spot after the Nadu ban. It's just an ag. I mean, I when an aggro deck is like the best deck in the format, which I don't even know if like it's Boros Energy. It's an aggro deck, but it's also a mid range deck. When a mid range deck is the best deck in the format, like. Usually it's a sign of a healthy format, but like these Boros Energy decks just do everything. It feels like the Jund, like it's now just, I mean, Boros Energy is now just Jund because it's all two for ones. Yeah. I'm going to play this cat, which is going to make more cats. I'm going to play, which is like, I mean, you can say the Johnny, the Sasa Pride. I'll play Guide of Souls, which is a, is a one mana, one, two, one mana, one, two. It's going to gain life and energy and make something big. But these cards just do so much. Uh, Ben's going to play it on Johnny, make a kitty cat. Let's see if Connor has... He's got an Aether Hub. Does he have the Ampter to go with it for that sick three-mana Cascade? Doesn't look like it. No. I think he's does he have an Ocelot Pride in hand? Yeah, he has his own Johnny, so we could just match Ben's Johnny. He does have a Sun Cleanser, too, I believe. Yep, Sun Cleanser, you don't get to energy no more. Ben with an untap and a draw. I think he just drew an amp trapter. That's unfortunate. That doesn't do very much against this. Uh, but that's why these Boros decks are playing Chain of the Rocks instead of the Static Prisms. Because Chain of the Rocks does not care about Sun Cleanser. One swept Heath. Two... <laughs> There's my other Ajani, and I'm going to flip this Ajani, and I'm going to have three cats. Could also get rid of the Sun Cleanser here. Uh, it's No, he doesn't have a red permanent. Oh. Yeah. Garbage card. Why play it? Yeah. I mean, it, it doesn't it doesn't get the busted mode of it, so it can't be that good. We're going to play the Kitty Cat, though. Make another one. You know, one card or two cards made four. <laughs> right? No. Uh, Arena of Glory. There's Guy Souls. And we're going to pay two. Here's my Amp Drop oh, yeah. here. Gets to do the thing. Now we're up to four. Oh, do boy. we spin into the ring? one ring? Drum roll. Oh! oh! We did it! <laughs> Wow, that was awesome. Oh, no. I'm sorry, man. That really sucks for you. <laughs> he called it. Yeah. Oh, we no. We called it, too. We called it in the first match. If somebody got to do that, that'd be sick. Oh, man. Yeah, that's I'm going to tap it, yeah, and I'm going to draw a card, and Connor's like, this is pretty good. Yeah, he's big, big old smile on Connor's face. And uh, You know what? But I'm not counting Ben out. You know, we, we did that last game, and... I don't know. Oh. Connor had the... It was the one ring that won them the game. Like, let's oh, be real. yeah. I mean, it's... Man, that was awesome, though. Uh, sorry, Ben, but that was sick. <laughs> what a card. What a magic. The gathering. We're magicking now, baby. This is the, this is the highlight of gamer moments if I've ever seen one. Absolutely. Somebody, somebody clip that. Clip that. Nobody's going to clip it. It's fine. We'll all remember it, though. I'll clip it. Whatever. Surveils. Keep on top. Energy hub. 
Or Aether Hub is Energy Hub, whatever. Here's another Amp Raptor. Okay. This does. Chain to the right. Oh, no. Did he not have a. He did not. Wait, Elegant Parlor is a. We hit, it's not a red source. Lands don't have colors. He did. He couldn't make energy. Well, he has a mount, but he couldn't. Oh, he doesn't have the energy to do it. Okay. Because of Sun Cleanser, Sun Cleanser says you don't gain no energy. Yeah, yeah. If you're a make a cat, does it? Does he have to target something if he makes it? Oh yeah, I would just target one of his dudes. I I'm a Johnny. I just made five cats. <laughs> Insane. I like how Planeswalker Johnny sees Creature Johnny is just okay with it. There's no legend rule there. He's just like, this is fine. Connor's going to draw two cards. Andrew, another one ring, I think. Yep. That was the one thing last game that was like, you know, always iffy. But obviously it didn't matter much. No. Did not matter one bit, no. How many one rings does Ben have? He's got two in the main. Two main, two side, I believe. Yep. Yeah, not going Ben's way this game. It's wild to say that when Ben's got seven, eight things on the battlefield. And there's a new one. Can I draw a card? Draw a card. Fair or wait? We wanted to keep our. We have to keep our eyes on it. We don't. We don't want to take action, but we will keep our eye on it. Back to Ben. Ah, ben, ben is out of cat tokens. Now we're gonna kill Sun Cleanser. Here's my one ring. Wow. Says ben. Okay. How the turntables? <laughs> Surveil. We like it. We I don't like it. Love There's it. A land. Pass back to Connor. Connor gonna take a point. Connor's gonna draw two cards. The battle of the two one rings. <laughs> we'll see what Ben does here. I wonder if next turn Ben's like, do I tick up this Ajani or do I? Smack something for about a million. Now, Connor's kind of behind here, obviously, with Ben having such a great board and a one ring of his own. But, as we've seen, these decks are very good at building boards out of nothing, so... And swinging the game. Oh, yeah. Just, like, insanely. What do we got, Connor? Playing a Johnny? Yep. yep. Here's my kitty cat. Either of these players could... I mean, Connor has Ocelot Pride here. Play an after, and I'm going to go cascading, and I get a Chain to the Rocks. Can cast it, too. Chain to the Rocks only hitting creatures. Hit a Johnny, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you hit a Johnny. There's no point. It's like, I mean, it's de un like debatably the best thing on the battlefield, but like... Same thing. Eh? I saw Pride. He. Ooh. Oh no, out. that's rough. Connor says it's the ring battle now. Yeah, right. <laughs> ben drew a flage. We got, I think. Arena of Glory? Uh, does Ben have an Arena of Glory? No. Cool. This is a legend. Oh, oh, it's just a land. It's not even legendary. I thought the card was legendary. It's the Arena of Glory. 
Oh, my there's Flage. Flage. Kill the new cat. Game three here. I'm going to flip. I'm flipping it one way or the other. <laughs> By hook or crook, I'm getting my Hajani oh back. Oh, gosh. And now he does have a red source, or a red permanent, too. He does. So we could kill Connor's Hajani. Or he could hit Connor for one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. seven, eight. Just getting uh, Johnny off the table is pretty darn good. Yeah, so they're trying to figure out which ones have uh, summoning sickness and which ones don't. Ben did bolt his own. He cat. he killed the one that entered this turn, so yeah. couldn't attack anyways. Yeah. But this is gonna be a pretty big swing, I think, if Ben elects to attack. Yeah, I'll pass. He's just gonna pass. You know, he wants to protect a Johnny. Seems seems good. But that gives Connor turn to draw what? Four cards? Yeah. In total. Connor gonna drop to twelve. Ends up nineteen. What an epic game three. These Boros decks do make for good content and good yeah. gameplay and like they're obviously super powerful. Connor drew another ring, so that being said, uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> also if you're watching on twitch it's sub timber you got half price subs be awesome if you would uh, subscribe give us some of them beautiful bezos bucks baby is that what's actually called september yep i like it yeah look at the marketing out here All right. Tap three. What do we got? Not a ring, but Flage. Oop. Yep. There goes a Johnny. Up to 14. Goes Connor. Two Ocelot Prides. Two Ocelot Prides? Whoa. I think he's got the city's best thing, too. I. <laughs> if he didn't have it then, he was going to gain it off the first trigger. One, two, three, four. Six cats. Sheesh. Do, uh, excuse me? <laughs> That's the best I can do. Bed down to 17. From this one ring. Yep. One, two, three. Off the one ring draw. Did Ben draw another Ajani? Gonna fetch down to 16. <laughs> ben saying, I think keeping life total high makes sense. So good flage. I don't know what he has in hand really. It's a bit hard to see, but uh, got his soul. It's pretty good. Red, 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 yep. We're gonna flage it up. Did he? Did we arena for it? We did arena for it. Buy cards. cards. Where are we going? Kill an ocelot pride. Gain some energy. Go up to twenty. <laughs> We uh cracking in here, Mr. Flage, or we just Imagine if you had a way to give Flage trample. <laughs> I mean Kessig Wolfron is seen playing modern now, so uh, combat. Bro. Yeah, combat, no guy trigger, uh, kill the other Kill the Pride. Yep. And, and he's gonna and Flage is gonna jump the Flage. In. Don't worry, he'll come back if he dies. <laughs> Maybe in two turns with haste again. Jump with a cat. Oh, he didn't jump it? 
You know, he just no. He he only has. Oh, he doesn't have the man. He doesn't have the energy for it. That's right. I think Ben forgot some energy triggers. I don't super know. I'm not. Oh, maybe he just played that card this turn. I'm not super sure. I don't remember the guy Souls being there. So I mean, there's so much going on this board right now. And any player's game, which is wild. With like, it doesn't look like it, but Connor is just about the same number of dudes that Ben does. They're just under one dice. Yeah, these these each turn swings back and forth. This is nuts. And yeah, we're staring at each other. Somebody just alpha strike. Come on. Connor with a new ring, so Connor's gonna draw four. Draw one, maybe? I mean, I don't know. Ben's at a thirty one, but feels like Connor's like still in this game very much. Oh yeah. Wowie zowie. <laughs> yeah, this this is a uh, this right here is why I play Wraths. I you know what, Control did nothing wrong. It's like a Wrath of Skies here would uh, clean this board up nice and tidy. Well, except for the One Ring. Because Doesn't it that, exile? No, no it, it destroys. destroys. One oh, Ring doesn't guys. care about that card. Man. We can never. We can't have that much counterplay. Uh, Flage. So you have the exalted trigger, the th like little token from Amonkhet Connor, but you don't have your energy counter. <laughs> <laughs> you have everything but the energy counter itself. That's actually actually he has adventure too. I think I know Connor adventure. <laughs> you got all of it except for the debatably most important one. And the most common between Exalted. I've never even seen that thing. I, I knew it existed, but like I've never seen it. I haven't used. seen one since I drafted that set. Pro Tour Amonkhet was the last time I saw it be used. I don't even think you exert, other than Glorybringer. Who was my my, my pre-release was the last time I used it. That's awesome. There's Connor's Flage. As a foil connoisseur, I have to root for Benzino. Shinier cards here. <laughs> Gotta be impartial. Only based off the foil. What are we doing, Connor? I'm gonna bolt. Bolt the guide. Did Ben just chump the flage? He didn't lose any life. I think he chumped it with one of the cat tokens, and okay. then he, but he lost the Ocelot Pride from the Connor's Flage. Quite the match. Uh, there's that Fear Fire Foes that Ben was talking about. We looked up earlier, I'm pretty sure, because... Uh, oh, man, he could yep, kill the Flage. I think that's it right there. Well, does he have no mana? Fear, fire, foe. I, I actively think if Ben puts all of his damage into the flage. Guy to soul? He just swings out. I think he, he might just win. There's no way to know. Because that fear, fire, foe deals one to everything else. So it's going to ping down. Well, it deals one to all the cat tokens. Oh, with the same type. Same same name. Like, ooh. That's a... One damage to I, each I creature with the mind. same... I read it wrong. But, I mean... Oh, no, no, no. Hold on. Deals X damage and one damage to each other creature with, with the, the same, same controller. Oh, no. It's, it just will kill everything. Because Amp Raptor is a 2-1, right? Yep. Yes. Yeah, that'd kill everything except for... Yeah, just deal with all the flage. I don't think we're gonna do the five. So is he? Connor, are we gonna have a sick? So Connor's got three of charm, or he's gonna stomp. Oh, is he casting fear fire foes right now? Yeah, Ben's casting fear fire foes for one. Oh, he's, he's stomping gonna stomp his own. Stomp the Ampter. Oh, come on, Connor! That would have been such a sick play. 
I'll get I'll, I'll give it to him because you know he had a he he created a sweet moment earlier when he ripped that one ring off of the amp raptor. So I'll give him this one. Is that the same? No, that was game. No, that's the same amp this, raptor, right? Yeah, this is the same game. <laughs> oh my god, is that the same raptor? Oh, dude, that raptor's just been chilling out. <laughs> Straight up chilling, homie. <laughs> Oh. I think Ben's uh, doing some quick math. Yeah. Oh, and there's the Nux. And Ben with the I attack you with a million dudes. Yep, that will do it. Ben is going to improve to three and one. Still uh, probably able to draw into top eight, I would imagine. Unfortunately, though, for Connor, there might be one or two maybe X2s that make it in, but... That's going to be it, folks. Thank you all so much for watching. If you're watching live, we have one more round of Swiss and, of course, three rounds of top eight coverage. If you're watching on YouTube, though, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. There's probably a video popping up right now or pretty soon. Make sure to click on that because I guarantee you will like it. I'm Les Alex. That's Jake. Thank you all so much. And until the next time, if you're watching live, though, stick around. We've got some pack openings, some Duskmorn collectors booster packs. But, uh, yeah, if you're not, we'll see you in the next round, in the next video. Adios. Adios.